expecting you all to hear that story. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I got the new shirt. Where is your tie? Right. So now you know a bit more about us. Let me tell you even more. Um, I'm Josh. And I'm Rich. And we're React, and we want to use tech to transform the way that we measure public opinion. Now, organizations that are massive corporations to really small nonprofits all use opinion polling um, to decide what they should do, how they should do it, um, and who they should do it with. Now, it might not be clear why that's so important, but let me tell you a bit about ourselves and why we think it is. Rich and I both met when we were working for the Labour Party. We took it from their tech team from just two people in 2014 to over 10 in 2017, the most recent general election. But one of the things that I learned there really worried me. And that's that just one in four people believes that um, the government cares about what people like them think. I don't think that's true, though. And let me give you a really specific example as to why. Now, some of you guys might remember this. A couple of years ago, the government announced plans to sell off 258,000 hectares of publicly owned forest land. That's about half a million football pitches of trees, give or take. There was huge public uproar from across the political spectrum. There were protests, there were outrage in the media. But it looked like the, governments were going to go, the government was going to go ahead with their plans anyway, until an organisation called 38 Degrees stepped in. Yeah, so they organised a massive campaign against these plans, engaging tens of thousands of members. But the real tipping point came when they went to YouGov to commission a simple survey of just one question. What do you think about the plans to sell off the forests? Now, they're hoping to maybe get a few headlines out of this, but they got far more than this. The government announced a U-turn just days later, even apologising for considering the plans in the first place. This is a really powerful example of how opinion polling can create real change. But sadly, it's the real exception rather than the norm. And there are a couple of reasons why that is. Traditional pollsters use landlines and send out emailed surveys um, that take um, hours to complete. That means that when you need results, they take typically ten, um, two to seven days. Uh, and by that time, you've often missed your opportunity. That also contributes to their price. That, uh, that adds up and it makes them quite expensive and they have to pass those costs on to their customers, which prices a lot of organizations out from being able to use polling at all. And that also means that they're inaccurate. Who has a landline anymore? That means that underrepresented groups in our society, um, like ethnic minorities and students, don't have their voices heard in these. Here's how we're gonna make it different. So at one o'clock, a charity logs on to React, looking to find out public awareness about a campaign they want to run. They put their questions in and hit go. At two o'clock, we're sending out thousands of push notifications to our diverse panel across the UK. And behind the scenes, our algorithm is crunching the numbers. So at four o'clock, we can return those results. That means that charities can launch urgent fundraisers confident they've got the best possible messaging. That means campaigning organisations can challenge what the Daily Mail has written that morning. And that means the media can hold politicians to better account. Now that's a lot faster. That's results in just two hours rather than two to seven days. And it's also a lot easier because it's self-service from start to finish. And it's also a lot better because, as Josh said earlier, pollsters are now recognising they're not doing anywhere near enough to talk to all the different groups in our society. Now, we want to change that and we want to speak to everyone from all walks of life so our data is truly representative of what the UK really thinks. So how does that work in practice? Well, customers will come to us and they'll commission surveys. We'll then send these surveys out to about a thousand of our panellists who will be ordinary people from up and down the UK, be they mums, amateur magicians, or perhaps both. They'll be paid... <laughs> yeah, I like that one too. Uh, <laughs> um, they'll be paid to answer those questions um, while they're waiting for the bus or watching TV. Then we'll crunch numbers um, and send the answers back to the customers. How big is this really? It's absolutely enormous. Worldwide, the market research sector is worth $43 billion each year. In the UK, that's £4.8 billion, one of the highest per capita spends in the world. In the first instance, we're focusing on just two segments, omnibus research and rapid turnaround research. Now, both of those are kind of insidery terms, so let me explain them to you. An omnibus survey is the most common type of polling. It's where a polling company takes all of the questions from all of their customers and bundles them together into one massive survey. It typically takes about an hour to complete. They then pull out all of the answers and send them back to each of the individual customers. That's worth about 1.1 billion pounds per year. Now, we don't agree with that approach. We think ours is better. But that's the most analogous, so that's where we're starting. We're also leading the market in creating a rapid turnaround segment. Now, we can return results by default in under two hours. We don't know how big this is going to be yet. But we've heard a lot of demand from the customers that we've spoken to. And here's how we're going to do it. 
So far we've built our product and we've met with a lot of organisations from media outlets to charities to campaign organisations, both to test how our product works for them and how we can help them. And we're going to use all of that great knowledge to develop our proof of concept in January. Here we'll be recruiting 6,000 Londoners on our panel and we're working with charities in time for the local elections next May to work out the issues at the top of their agenda and put those in front of politicians to get a better deal for London. After that, we're going to raise further investment to scale to the rest of the UK. Ah, oh, and this is my favourite slide. We need your help to do it. Can you introduce us to media outlets who might partner with us to run our research, to charities and to corporate insights teams who might use us when we launch, or as we seek investment to angel investors with experience in our sector, experience in market research, or in the media who might be able to help us grow. Our email address is right there, or out there in the stand. We'd love to come and meet with you. Thanks for listening. We've been React.